ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் பிரியதர்ஷினி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் பிபிஏ கேஎஸ்ஆர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் விமன் டுடே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் ஜிஎஸ்டி ஜிஎஸ்டி ரெஜிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் ஜிஎஸ்டி ஜிஎஸ்டி மீன்ஸ் இட்ஸ் லைக் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ப்ராசஸ் பை விச் ஏ டேக்ஸ் பை எவர் கெட் ஹிம் செல்ஃப் ரெஜிஸ்டர்ட் அண்டர் தி ஜிஎஸ்டி ஒன்ஸ் ஏ பிஸ்னஸ் இஸ் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல்லி ரெஜிஸ்டர்ட் A unique register number is assigned to the that is known as a goods and service identification number GSTIN this is in a 15 digit number assigned by the central government after that the tax payer obtain the registration you can also verify the GST number and to know the complete details next one is a who should be registered in GST all the business suppliers goods which one person goes to turn over exceed rupees 40 lakhs in indian financial year are required to register as a normal taxable person however the whole limit is rupees 10 lakh if you have a business in a north and east state for example jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh and uttarakhand also here the listed of certain business for which gst registration is mandatory the first one is a casual tax person non resident taxable person interstate suppliers of goods and services any service provider liable to pay tax under the reverse charge mechanism tds or tcs deductor online data access or retrieval service provider next one is a what are the document you should be required for the gst registration permanent account number that is in a pan copy of aadhar card proof of business registration or incorporated certificate identity and address proof of promoters or directors with photograph bank details cancel check authorization letter digital signatures these are the main document for required for the registration of gst next one is a types of gst the first one normal tax payer most business in india fall under this category business whose turnover exceeds rupees 40 lakhs in a financial year the person is required to register the normal tax payer however the whole limit rupees 10 lakh if you have in a business in north and eastern state uh, that means jammu and kashmir uttarakhand himachal pradesh etc casual taxable individual occasional or seasonal business need to register the business under gst for this category business need to make a deposit equal to gst gst liability from the occasional operations important fact about gst registration any business any business that has turnover 20 lakhs in indian rupee is required to register for gst if you are supply of goods more than one state it means you are required to register for gst in all the state you supply the goods there is no registration fee for the gst yes legal recognitions of business the second one is a uniform accounting of tax business will be eligible to avail of service benefit under the gst regime legal authorizations of collecting tax from self made next one next one is under the gst supply gst supply means under the gst supply is considered a tax even for charging the tax what is 
supply under GST. Under this GST, lease, exchange, license, sale, transfer, border, retailer and disposal. What is lease? Contract to allow right to use for a period without transfer of title. Next one is a exchange to swap or transfer for an equivalent with use of money. Next one is a license. A permission granted to exercise a certain privileges. Sale, transfer of ownership of goods. Transfer, transfer of goods without transfer of title. Border, exchange of one commodity for another without money. Rental, periodical payment for the use of someone else's property. Next one is a disposal to part with or allies. These are under supply under GST. Thank you.